You know what's really cool about having artist friends that make awesome products? They tend to want to share them with you. And the really generous ones send enough for giveaways for your audience. Okay, y'all, I just got a package from my good friend, Christy Rice. You guys know her, you love her, and she is kind of a watercolor supply guru <laughs> and has created five, is it five? Five different empty watercolor palettes that are absolutely gorgeous. So Christy has her own line of paints and brushes and like a pot for your water and a travel brush and all this awesome stuff, the stamp collection or the stamp set that she recently sent me, which I absolutely love. But she recently came out with this collection of empty palettes where you can place your tube paints or already existing um, pan palettes in this beautiful collector's tin. And she was so generous to send me some of, well, all five of her palettes plus doubles so I can do a giveaway. So I can do five different giveaways of each palette. So I'm gonna open them all up check out these palettes and then I want to fill one of them up with one of my two paints because obviously they're gorgeous and I have to. So let's just jump in and take a look at these beautiful palettes. All right, so Christy has five different palettes. Um, we have this Hellebores palette, which, you know what, I'm just gonna open them one at a time. Okay, so here's the first palette. This is the Hellebores pattern. It is a 24 well half pan palette. It says dive into your joy. Beautiful watercolor florals on the front. And inside you have 24 empty pans that you can fill on your own. And I know this comes out if you wanna you know, have extra mixing wells. And one great thing with um, these palettes is that on the back there's a QR code so you can scan that and there's a video of how to properly fill your palette with tubes and then she has a tutorial for whatever palette you bought the artwork on the front. So if you get the Hellebore one, you get a tutorial on how to paint these beautiful florals. So that's the first one, that's beautiful. Then we have this strawberry pattern, another 24 well palette. Let's see. I really love this pattern. And it says, be watercolor curious. This is beautiful, I really love this one. I'm really into strawberries lately. So same kind of thing. This one, was that one rose gold? I don't think it was. No, this one is silver, but this one has like a rose gold kind of clip part here. And again, it comes out. So cool. It's a really nice tin palette. And I have actually bought empty palettes on Amazon before to put my watercolors in, which I think I might, like I got my Art Car Creation watercolor pans, which I put in an empty palette that I got on Amazon. I think I'm gonna have to switch it to one of these because these are just too beautiful to not use. So there's the Be Watercolor Curious, that's so pretty. It's hard to pick a favorite. So with that one, there's a QR code on the back so you can see how to paint those really beautiful strawberries. I really like this one. Ooh, I didn't even check out the back. And then you have this one, which is Dahlia's. It says, forget rules, forget right, remember joy. This is really beautiful too. And I didn't even notice her little logo at the back. Oh, and it has, they all have little rings. So if you want to hold it, I don't know if people actually do that. Do Does anyone hold their palette <laughs> while they paint? I don't think many people do, but there's an option. Um, again, 24 wells. This is really pretty, very pretty. Like look at these three. So these are the 24 palette or wells palette half pan palettes I can speak I promise then she also has this one which is 48 half pans ginormous this is the one I think I might put my um our car creations one in because I have a lot I think I actually have 48 of their colors which I love um ooh, pretty so this is the botanicals one nice and big yeah, the one I have is just plain black, so this is nice. And like she said, you can either fill these up with, you know, tube paints that you already have, 
or you can just pop out these little pans and then put in ones that you already have. Um, they also, I think she said, these are half pans, but they also fit uh, full size pans as well. I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever had a full size pan, but yeah, so those are so cool. So that's the 48 again, QR code. This is happy painting. And then the last one is a 12 half pan anemone pattern, which is also beautiful. I love anemones, which is so great for a travel one. Joy is waiting. That's so cute. And then there's 12 half pans. I think I actually might fill this one today. I have some Cotman watercolors, which I realize I have Cotman two watercolors that I used to use all the time. But then when I moved to my professional brand, um, all of my palettes tended to be filled up with my professionals. Now I don't really have a palette with my Cotman ones, which are student grade, which I still love. And I still think they're valuable to use on my channel. So I think I am going to fill up my Cotman colors and I will show you kind of my go-to colors with Winsor Newton Cotman student grades um, to fill up in this and then maybe we'll paint something quick. Uh, I'm not going to follow a tutorial because you have to buy the pan or the palettes to get the tutorials uh, but maybe I'll take a little bit of inspiration from some of Christie's beautiful artwork and paint something. So let's fill up this anemone pan. I'm going to go through my Cotman colors but like look how gorgeous these are. These are so pretty. Christy you're creating some gorgeous watercolor supplies and if you guys are as much into watercolor supplies as I am you know that like packaging and all that stuff is such a huge deal um it can help you want to create so these are beautiful uh designs and I I think I still love this one the most but they're also pretty so let me know what you guys like in the comments below um so like I said I'm gonna fill this one up and make sure you stick around till the end so we can talk about the giveaway because I am giving away one of each of these palettes like so exciting so generous of christy um and i'm so excited for the winners to get their hands on them and also make sure to look in the description below for all of the details read them very carefully okay let's get into filling this pan okay so here's my little bin of cotton colors let's go through them all together because i actually haven't seen these paints in so long i'm actually really hoping 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 that they haven't completely dried out either um, it's been so long since I've used them. Okay, I have a bunch of these. Oh my gosh. It's been so, so long since I've used them. Some of these from are from when I first started. And I don't have a ton, ton of colors. But let's see what I've got. Oh man, this brings back memories. I remember when I first got my first tube of... Cotman paint. I remember just thinking like, this is so cool. So it's actually, oh, paint's gray. That's a good one to have. Indigo I have there. Hooker's green was always a must. Um, anyone I'm missing? Okay, I think, I think that's it. Okay, so let's see what we have. For my reds, I have cadmium red deep hue, and I also have cadmium red hue. I remember when I first started with the cadmium red hue it I thought it was going to be a red color it's way more orangey than that so I'm not a huge fan of cadmium red if you want a nice like cherry red from the cotton line cadmium red deep is really nice um, permanent rose is always a must in my palette I have this alizarin crimson but I don't remember using it too much but let's see what I have if I want to put it in there so there's three and then purples I swear by my dioxazine purple always had it in my palette love it um, and mauve is really nice and one funny thing about my mauve is that uh the professional mauve from or no the professional mauve from Windsor Newton is a granulating mauve and I remember when I used it with the professional line I was so disappointed because I love the cotton mauve and it just was super granulating and I hated it so um but luckily if you mix a little bit of Dioxazine purple and permanent rose, you can get mauve anyway. Okay, so there's mauve. Uh, we have intense phthalo blue, which is a good one to have, and then a turquoise. We have like a, a cool and a warm ish blue. Um, cadmium yellow is kind of just always my go to with yellows. I'm gonna put that over here. Then we have, I have a viridian, which I might put in there. Hooker's green dark was always my go to 
with um, my greens and sap green as well. And then I have indigo and Payne's gray and a burnt umber. So I have one, two, three. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, and I didn't include these because they're not completely necessary. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So I have my colors, um, and this is what I would recommend for a beginner palette if you wanted 12 colors. So now I'm going to fill this palette, and with the tutorial that comes along with these palettes, it she does show you the proper way of how to fill them with tube paints, so definitely check that out if you got it. Um, I'm going to do this over a time lapse really, really quickly. Uh, she does suggest that you do maybe two layers. So you do a layer and you let it dry 24 hours and then you do a second layer. Uh, so there's minimal cracking and stuff like that. So I'm going to do that over a couple of days, but I'm just going to organize it and then get started. Okay, so there we go. I have filled it all up. We have cadmium yellow hue, cadmium red deep hue, permanent rose, dioxazine purple, mauve, which is pretty much full, um, intense blue or phthalo blue. Then we have turquoise, hooker's green, dark, sap green, indigo, Payne's gray, and burnt umber. And those are kind of like my go-to uh, colors for a 12 pan set. Um, just what I started out with, my comfort zone. I love those colors. Yours might look a little bit different of colors that you would love in your palette, but I do suggest like these are gonna be great colors to start with if you are interested in looking. Um, but yeah, so like I said, we're gonna let these dry overnight and then I might do another layer to fill them a bit more because even Christy will um, mention that when you let them fully dry, there is a little bit of shrinkage of the watercolors that happens when they're dry so you might want to top them up um, and sometimes cracking with different brands is just inevitable and in what will happen usually my burnt umber is always my first to fall out of my regular palette so I'm curious to see how this is going to dry but yeah look how cute and now I have like the perfect travel palette with this joy is waiting anemone one from Christy and I'm so excited to share these these are going to be so much fun to use Oh, quickly before we go, I just wanted to show you what I did to these two palettes. Um, I also found some gold and silver watercolors that I usually love having in a palette anyway. So I just popped them in the center here. And these ones have magnets. They're from Mab Watercolors. I'm going to show you more of theirs in a second. But they already had magnets on the bottom. So that's perfect for this palette. It's just like a complete palette, all you need. And then... I have tons more of the MAB MAB watercolors, so she sent me a bunch last year, so I decided to put them all in here, um, and then these eight colors here are from the K. Hannah Hue, um, K. Hannah Honey Hue <laughs> watercolors, which I also love her handmade watercolors, they're beautiful. Um, so I have some primary colors here, and then just a crap ton of metallics. Uh, so that's fun. Now I have them all in one palette that I can use, which is a lot of fun. Um, and then I did move my Art Car Creation watercolors into this big palette. So I love these watercolors as well. Another handmade watercolor company, lots of granulating colors, but now they're in this beautiful palette. They were just in this plain black one before, but now there's a little bit more joy because they are in a Christy Rice palette. So I've already got three of these palettes filled. I'm sure I have more watercolors to put in the other two, which is a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, that's about it. That's all I wanted to show you. 
Okay, so there we go. There is our sneak peek into Christy Rice's brand new uh, ready to fill palettes. Now for the giveaway, I have five of them. I want to give each of them away to five lucky winners. So if you would like to enter, it is open to Canada and US residents only at the moment. Um, but comment below of which palette design is your favorite and make sure to like this video and subscribe to both mine and Christie's channel and I think that's about it again make sure you look at the description for all the details of when I'm going to be announcing the winners um, so you don't miss that because I have had winners who have not claimed it in the past I always comment on your submission comment in the video so that's what you need to check up on on the date that I pick a winner and I usually make a post with the person's name as well so I don't want you to miss out if you do win so make sure you read all the details about when I'm announcing the giveaway winners and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye!